everybody, and welcome back to some off Warcraft 3 Jank and Nick. Hello. Hello. Hi, Nick. How's it going? Hi, man. I'm good, thanks. Welcome. Oh, it says Etho on the floor in it front does, of us. It does, yeah. Oh. He's, uh, this is vandalism. He's it actually is actually vandalized vandalism, Nick. It might towel. also be like copyright infringement for us to show that in a video. Like, do you really? reckon he has... Because there's no TM, you mm, know? That's trademark, oh. though, Nick. Like, mm, oh, yeah, registered trademark. That is a fair point, Etho. You need to uh, you need to put a little, little tiny little yeah. TM I mean. There. For all we know, Etho, this could be royalty free. Oh, can we use this anywhere yeah. we want? Oh Put it my on goodness, the thumbnail, Nick. sell <laughs> it on shirts. <laughs> Just yeah. a shirt that says Etho, Etho with the list <laughs> merchandise by us. But there you go. expecting that, Etho. Coming. But <laughs> bet, you, bet you won't be swaying in, in happiness after go. you see that. Oh my goodness, coming yeah, fall way 2019. Way to go, sway yo. So Nick, Etho. <laughs> we, uh, we did a live stream between sessions again. Um, mm. And in this live stream, Nick, we thought long and hard about our position, Nick. And we realized pretty quickly that we are broke as <laughs> Like we've got yeah. just no money. We're you just we're so broke like our balance we was like really, almost really zero broke. we didn't even have i don't think enough money to pay another week's rent on fat stacks we definitely didn't have the money uh, to pay for the famous black pearl uh, or the infamous white pearl sorry mm. uh, or no fool's mm. glaze right. to stay you open don't be you know promoting other companies i know i know I, I i sorry nick i misspoke okay apologies please please forgive me Maybe. so we tore those down nick we've ended our agreements we're no longer paying for that but nick to get in some nice fat cash, we began work on a post office, Nick. Yeah, post office and job. here it is. Look at this thing. Look at this bad boy right here. Mostly your handiwork, Nick. You did a lot of the building here. It's mm -hmm. very impressive. I really like this. I love what you've done with the place. Thank it you, looks man. nice. Thank you. It yeah. used to be just some some white concrete powder. Mm. And now it's this. And now Welcome it's, it's to the this. post office, everybody. Mm. Not in. quite finished yet. Still a work in progress. But I will let you uh, give us the grand tour. Next. A, there is imagine, a lamppost in the way, but imagine, I've been very ooh. scared to vein mine it or mine it. <laughs> um, so I've just I left know, this it thing, there. This thing should be fairly easy to move, Nick, honestly. Like... I mean, I'll move it later, but <laughs> I think yeah. it should be fairly easy. Yeah, to move. no, but I think you should imagine, move it now, man. Im okay, you know what? Sure, fine. Here we go. I'm going to move it now. Where do you want That's it? Do you want right. to just like, do you just want to get rid of it entirely? Like, there's one over here at this end, or do you just want to move that it to like fine. I here? I don't like this one because it's blocking the entrance size. Okay, yeah, but you could just you could just take each piece one at a time. Oh, and I just thought I had to. It. Oh, I see. Actually, you figured you had to. You were I mandated to, I to, I had to use Vade bit by bit. Like, oh, I see. <laughs> But uh, I was just completely no, 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 wrong. No. You could about just you could one. just individually take each piece. I, of I the, actually uh... thought that was the case. <laughs> well, thanks for for clarifying. That. Not a problem, Nick. Yeah, all chisel and bit stuff can just be moved as soon as you put the bits down. They become like their own block. They oh. become part of that block. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like very very easy to move, Nick. Extremely okay. Thanks. Easy man. to move. There we go. Look at that. Boom. Lamp post moved. So let's ah. let's let's imagine Nick, that I'm a new customer. You know, you're the you're the proprietor of this post Hi. office. You're trying to get me to, to Hi, use customer. your services. Welcome to the post office. Uh, oh, come hello. in. Oh. Welcome to the entrance. Well, I don't mind if I do. Oh, what a, <laughs> what, a, what a lovely building you have here. Wow, Thank you. So much this, so much marble. There is a lot of marble. We spent a lot of money. Oh wow, yeah. This. Marble is very expensive. There was in the a economy. lot of global destruction. Oh wow, yeah, just um, so much excavation and so, so many much. of the Earth's natural resources just destroyed for this uh, overly just ornate post mm. office. But I love it. Continue. Thanks, ma'am. Sorry, thank you, dear sir, customer. Um, <laughs> so directly in front of you, we have uh, the counter services. Mm. Unfortunately, we're a bit short staffed right mm. now. They're on strike. Yeah, recession and um, all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, workers' rights. It might have something to do with the, the fact there's actually just no mail here anywhere. Ah, that there that is does, no mail. Mm, okay, that makes um, sense. But on either wall, we've got PO box. PO this is, boxes. <laughs> this is what happens, Nick, when email takes over. Just exactly. Like, no, nobody working in the it's post like office. It's like people can't send spam town. mail, yeah. you know, chain mail to post oh. offices. So you know that's basically <laughs> all that exists. So post office have got out of business. <laughs> Poor guys. Oh yeah, look oh. at this. So this is your PO box section. PO I like box it. on uh, on both oh, ends. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, book ended by PO boxes. I dig it, Nick. I dig it. And then I see yeah. you've got like a, a lower area here, like the a, a basement bit. The lower area for the sorting room. That's still mm. under construction. Mm. Um, Very fancy. This is, for now, I this like is just it. my dungeon. 
Oh yeah, um, what do you? But it will what, be what you, a sorting room. What, what do you do down here with that crown on? Yeah. <laughs> this is I, I, I use this glider eyes. Can I just? This is what I do all day. I go. I, I still love the fact that the crown doesn't move. It floats above the glider. Above your glide. head. Yeah, I mean, watch this, Nick. Here you go. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it just oh, floats. Yeah. It's above. like your glider's wearing the crown. <laughs> Should we uh, bounce back to Gok and Jank HQ, Nick? Yeah, let's do that. Look at this. We've done, I've done a bit more work here as well to try and make this dome look a little less, a little less like a massive floating dome and uh, a yeah. bit different. I think in the last episode, Nick, it was like the really small, really tall dome. Uh, we have right, tweaked okay. it a bit since then. Like, it's so now it was much... a bit like a, a bell dome and this is more like a, a, a helmet dome. This is more, yeah, more like a helmet, maybe like the, the top of a burger bun, maybe, you know, like the top burger bun, maybe. Dome. It's much wider um, and much shallower, so it's not quite as like pointy as the last one um it's also got some nice little water features nick it's got some leaves and all kinds of stuff it's getting there slowly but surely it's also a lot tidier now there are no machines clogging up the works you know blocking things all over the place everything's been moved and organized ever so slightly um, mm. including the repositioning of our machines over here they're all connected to power and whatnot which is uh which is nice you know they're all accessible now uh, before like some of them were in the system some of them were in, like in my inventory some on the floor and it was just it was a mess Nick. it was a disaster right it was bad isaac it was it really was bad. actually horrible um, um, and finally nick one final thing that i have done between sessions nick i have upgraded our solar panel it was extremely tedious and oh yeah probably cost about like five thousand redstone iron lapis and quartz it required ah. so much of all of those resources nick but this is now a tier four solar Ooh. array we could Ooh. go to tier five but we need some more nether stars for that and then of course okay. tier six after the fact now the tier one version nick that we had before was producing 1000 i think 200 redstone flux per tick would you like to hazard a guess as to, as to how much redstone flux per tick this bad boy right here is generating so f initially it was 1200 yeah 1200 i'm gonna say um 12,000. nick this bad boy right here produces 212,000 oh. <laughs> redstone flux per tick that's nick. just what i like to hear at 15 14 p.m actually <laughs> insane nick it's <laughs> on a cloudy madness. afternoon uh we do have a problem though Excuse me, sir. Put my hand up, just visually. Oh yeah, yep. For visual, sir. Excuse me. Problem. Yes, um, Nick. Two things. Am I am I allowed to say both? Uh, you have to put your hand up again between each thing. Okay, but yeah. I'm going to say the first one. Um, what do we do when it's at night, sir? Well, Nick, we we could sleep. That's like that's one thing. Uh, we could also put like. We could we could store power in like a yeah that was bank. my second hand ah, up thing like mm. you weren't meant to say that ah okay ah, right. <laughs> so let's so put my hand up again oh yeah so, God what's, what's your how, question, how do Nick? we store it we need to store it we do need to store it Nick we could do that in a, oh, in, a thanks, in a multitude sir. of ways Nick good question good question um, but also Nick people in the comment section did tell me that. It is always daytime in the end. And so if we move our solar panel to the end, we can chunk load it and it will just perpetually provide us with 212,000 redstone flux per tick constantly, day and night, forever, right? We're just right. always going to be producing. And what is actually a, can, a ludicrous can transfer amount of power. interdimensionally then? I'm not response. positive about that, Nick, but I'm going to assume that the people of the comment section uh, did think about are this. Always I'm, right. I'm, uh, they, they are always right. And I'm going to yeah. assume that. That they can transfer interdimensionally. Okay. Uh, to be specific, well, Nick, it produces two hundred and twelve thousand three hundred and one redstone flux per tick. <laughs> I mean, three hundred and one is quite a bit. Yeah. Like, Which, especially compared like, to our early day. Probably, this so. system over here, Nick. This entire setup produces four thousand ninety six. Can right? we like just blow it up? I mean, we can, but like, what's the? <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's so pointless. There's no need to destroy really it. want to just see it burn to the ground. Wow. All that hard work I put into this system, Nick. We grow the wheat, we grow the potatoes, the power is transferred. The garden, There's a whole underground system to, that pumps everything over to here. Garden There's an intricate even setup the of priorities. And, oh, my goodness, Nick. I think we should leave it just for All now. Right. I don't think we should tear okay. it down. Well, Even I'm just though... saying, I'm just warning you now. If you come, you know, on here and it looks like the Californian <laughs> fires have ravaged, 
All I'm oh. saying is that we're, this is based in California or Portugal. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and move this thing over to the end, Nick. What are you going to do? Um, well, seeing as we want to sell processes eventually mm. and also just make them for us for things, um, yes. today's the day, Isaac, where we're going to automate processes. Mm. It's going to happen. Mm. I'm looking forward to it, Nick. I am looking forward to it. I can't wait. So I'm going to build a little area um, for automation. And uh, you people who are viewing may may put your hand up and be like, but you, <laughs> you already people. have a place. <laughs> and uh, to that, um, Isaac said no, just saying. Because <laughs> I'd completely agree with you. <laughs> but, but, oh, wow. but <laughs> it's a decision's been made. <laughs> where this is going to be moved. So you know what? Where's the fit of steel? <laughs> Wait, way to throw me under the bus there, Nick. Jeez. <laughs> I oh was my considering, God. you know, saying that, you know, like, you know, we we, we thought long and hard about this. <laughs> um, but, but then at the no. end, you were just like, no. Isaac said no. <laughs> we're going to... So, so it's, gonna so be it's being moved. <laughs> I mean, that and is true. That. Uh, Nick said, I want to keep these things over here. Uh, and I said, no, Nick, we're not keeping them over here. And then Nick was like, all right, we'll move them. But be warned, I'm going to call you out for it. Uh, but he didn't say that. He didn't warn me. No, no warnings. What guy. No warnings here. All right. Thankfully, oh, we can craft out up. Range. What's uh, our range? Oh, it's not mm, far. It's, it's not particularly some, it's, far. It's I think, okay. Okay. I mean, okay. Before I make the end portal, Nick, I will make more wireless range upgrades. Okay, it's, thanks. It's, it's thanks, quite man. far. It's not super short, but it's also not very long either. You know, it's not... It's not as long okay. as it could be. Although, Nick, simultaneously, if we go kill the end dragon, we should get um, an infinite range boost, right? Like um, oh, one yeah, of those infinity yeah, range boosters. Yeah. yeah. Those would be nice. Put one of those in uh, in there so it's got infinite range. We can access it anywhere. That would be uh, that would be pretty great, Nick. Uh, but alas, we don't have those uh, just yet. But we mm. might do eventually. So, Nick, Sorry, I've man. got... Whilst, whilst I work on... Uh, on wireless range boosters and also uh, getting us to the ending i have a um i have a a proposition for you and by proposition i mean um a fake scenario that i want okay. you to weigh in on right S please this is, this Isaac, is what please. we uh, this is what we specialize in all right i've bumped the range between 150 meters thick all oh, right so you can go 150 perfect, blocks away thanks, which is like most of our island i think also quick question um i have a f i kind of can tell that we're we're blocking up our drives like we're out of drive space Yes, we are. You could uh, maybe okay. produce a few 1K Yeah, I'm just checking that we're, we're on the mainframe now. I think okay. the biggest issue in this, Nick, is that certain things... So, like, over here, we've got our processing, but not everything that's being processed is going into a draw. And so, for example, like, we've got... Oh, okay. We've got yeah. some... We've got 2,000 redstone here, Nick, but 14,000... 16,000 redstone in total, right? So... 2,000 redstone is sitting in here because it's not been upgraded, and then the other 12,000 redstone is sat in all right drives in because that case before i do this i'm going to put um ingots and stuff in the storage drawers and set the priority okay i'm going to upgrade the storage drawer for redstone so that it can hold more than 2000 uh, yeah redstone. you there probably do been, want to do that it's been also up. for tin um and yes. lapis right yeah and copper mm -hmm. silver yeah. gold as okay. well okay well nick you know, i'm not Platinum. freaking i'm not i'm not freaking you know amazon <laughs> right you can't just order 50 trillion of those gosh dang piece of trash Jeez. But that's where we want to be man that's that is where, where we want to be. be we do want to be like a so what level i'm doing of, here of was i'm you know kind of making you realize that that's where we want to be <laughs> Okay. So there okay. you go. That's where we want to be. I mean, all right. Well, I'm going to go back to making this end portal. Nick, I'm also going to go back to mind. just automating this because... Um, <laughs> okay, we'll figure, we'll to, figure the rest So essentially the what we've learned there is that we're, we're just not doing any of We that. don't care. Yeah. That's um, I mean, if you um, if you just make a few, like one or two more 1K storage components, yeah, you should I get us through the remainder of the uh, the session. I just uh, need this replace, replacement module. You What's know what they say, again? Nick? Why do it today if you can put it off till tomorrow exchange it, as a wise man once said right yeah i say that to myself every day um actually. why do today what you can put off till tomorrow that's a that's something to live by kids you should uh you should live by that motto all right let me drop some, some oh yeah this exchange there. man it's just like oh it's revolutionary it's real nice isn't it it's real nice to have i uh, i dig it nick i do diggity dig it i'm just gonna use i'm just gonna use really simple brick for now and then i'm gonna just do other stuff later don't worry okay 
Okay, I have I have faith in you. I'm Nick. out of bricks. I see. <laughs> we should. I think we've got loads of bricks. Like we loads do have of loads individual, of bricks. individual bricks. We have so loads Nick, of them. You're a fan of, of food, right? You, you're you're a culinary. I do enjoy it from time to time. A culinary in, enjoyer. You enjoy mm. uh, the process of of consuming products that provide your body with with sustenance, right? Yes. Now everyone knows Nick, that there is one big downside that comes with enjoying sustenance, right? Mm -hmm. And that is that most of the food that is around you on a daily basis, Nick, is just absolutely terrible for you, right? Like, it's yes. really bad. If you eat it too much, you're going to get, like, just fat as all hell, and you're going to probably die young because of, like, heart disease, right? Which yeah. is just not not great. So I have, a, I have a, a proposition for you, Nick. If somebody came up to you, mm. for example, like a wizard, or, or okay. a, an elf, or a, a, a dwarf, or some some form of magical <laughs> being, okay, yeah. right? Some, or like a pixie, you know, some magical being came up yeah. to you, um, and they they arrived, and they initially they proved their their, their magic abilities, right? Because obviously, if, <laughs> yeah, if, if, that's if, the first thing I'd be like, <laughs> who do you think you are? Some kind of like, you know, I don't if, if, trust anyone. <laughs> I'm gonna to say, just, like, you know, someone could tell I me. I don't imagine that if a dwarf just came up to you, you'd be like, yeah, I trust you that you have magical abilities out exactly. of the game. Exactly. But so. Let's assume that they, they prove that they have magical abilities somehow. You know, they, they they walk up to you and they snap their fingers and they replace your legs with like mermaid legs. Like so you got a big old fit, okay. right? And so they, go, they, they say they're going to change it back. Don't worry. That was just to prove okay. that they had the power of yeah. magic. And they say to you, Nick, they say, hey, we... So it's like a... It's like... They say it to you, okay. I, will, I will make it so that you are in peak physical fitness, right? You know, you're at the, the, the peak of what you could be, you know. You got 12-pack abs, Nick. You know, your muscles oh. are just perfect, right? You know, sculpted by a, a Greek god. Oh, my and, God. And you can eat anything you like, and your physique will never change, right? Mm, physique dream, doesn't change Isaac. ever. Yep. That is the dream, right? That That's is the, the dream. dream. Physique will never change. Don't have to work out. But... We're going to take 10 years off your life. Ooh, ooh. Would you take that deal? That's a really interesting um, proposition. proposition. Mm. 10 years is quite a long time. 10 years so, is quite a long time. The thing is, though, is that you've got to ask in this scenario, where does my life before yeah. this 10-year removal... Yeah. Would it count? So let's say I was destined to like die in a car crash or something <laughs> sure yeah when okay. i was like 36 right 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 will i now die at 26 so so will this just not be an old age oh thing? you're taking like you're taking a, a, a different tack to this like so the way is what I want my assumption here is that there is an estimated age when you're going to die right based on your current physical fitness right like obviously if you become healthier you're probably gonna live longer you know Whereas tomorrow, Nick, you could start eating, you know, just pizza every single day and, and probably die yeah. a lot younger anyway, right? So let's assume that you're going to live to approximately the, the average life expectancy, right? Like you're going to live to about 80 years old. And if okay. you take this, your life, let's just say your life expectancy drops. So your life expectancy drops to like seven, say, right? Mm -hmm. Would you take that? Okay, like, so... Not including, not including like I, I don't think that you're predestined to to, to die in a car crash, Nick. Like no. I don't think that's that's how the world works. But although I could be wrong, um, no, no, so no. Let's yeah, which is why I'm asking because Isaac. I mean, if that's not the world, how the world works, right? Then this freaking there's this, you are you are saying there is a a pixie, <laughs> Isaac, or, or demonstrating, a dwarf, or an elf, or a wizard, or, or witch, a wizard, you know, any of the above. Yeah, exactly. Um, but they're, they're, they're just gonna take. You know, ten years off your life. So instead of living to like teenage, you go live to seventy. Um. So it's a bit like right. The advantage of being healthy mm. does not correlate to advantage of I living should, longer. Yeah, I should clarify that the the health benefit that you get, you being in peak physical perform, like peak physical fitness, doesn't increase your life expectancy. So. So there's three outcomes, right? So they take your current. So th what they do is they look at you as you are now, and they estimate your your life expectancy, right? And then they mm. take like ten years off that, right? Like giving you the peak physical fitness doesn't, you know, increase your life expectancy. Okay, if that makes um, sense. Because like right yeah, now, I if you were you. to become 
peak physical fitness, you would probably live like a few years longer, maybe. So the three outcomes are you take it, right? Yep. And you live to, in this case, 70. Yeah. Or, or like 68. there are two further outcomes. The first is that you don't take it. Yeah. And you still eat like really yeah. unhealthily. Yeah. Which and is, I think, a high priority, a high probability. Kind of live, you, you basically say that you live to 70 again. Or you don't take it. You do keep yourself in good physical form. And um, you do eat healthily. And you do live to 80. Mm. So it's an interesting one. That's the thing. Because it's essentially, you're healthy. Do you want to live to 70 or 80? But for the case of 80, you've got to work for it. I don't so, know, man. It's a good mm. one. Would you, would you, uh, oh man, okay, sidetrack real quick. I think I've fudged this up. I made an end portal, but oh, I think yeah. I've put the eyes of Ender in like the wrong way. I don't know how this works. I think I've put the eyes of Ender in the wrong way because it's not actually made the portal. Can you take the eyes of Ender out? Um, yeah, just mine them. I can't, you can't, it's unbreakable. Oh my God. How to take eyes out of end portal. I'm just here messing around with brick and marble, to be honest, man. And contemplating life and mm. pixies. That's the thing. So, w would you take it, Nick? If, if if a pixie arrived right now, would you be like, would you say yes? Or would you say no? They give you, they give you five minutes to decide. Mm. It's a very quick offer. So, is this my current form or is this like super like toned form? What do you mean? Like the, the form they're going to give you? Yeah. So, you become, you become as fit as it is physically possible for your body to become. Oh. Yeah, I'm taking it. <laughs> Nick, what if they bump it to 15 years? Uh, that's, see, 50, that's, mm, I don't know. So you, then you got to start saying, is 15 years worth like, you so, working so, for it? So, like, you, know? you might, you might, at this point, you might die at like 60. See, that's pretty early. It is. Know? But, like, early. how much time are you going to spend between now and then, you know, exercising that you no longer have to do? You know, how Not much time? Not 15 years. Ah, it might add up. How much time? Oh, I, I guess the biggest draw is being able to eat whatever you want in any quantity you want forever, right? You can drink yeah. as much cola as you like and not put on a pound, you know? It's like the heart disease isn't going to kill you, you're right? You know, you're My not teeth gonna, will be fine. Your teeth are going to be perfectly fine. Perfectly straight. Yep. Perfectly white. Yep. No cavities. Nothing. Not a single one. Um... I don't think I would for 15. Really? See, I think or, I probably still would take it for 15. Honestly. I think that's still... Would. Yeah, I think I would. Like, mm. just... It's just... It's too good of an offer, Nick. Food is so good. No, <laughs> I agree. It's too, too tasty. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's so it's nice. A, it's a good one. See, 10 quite a long time. It is. It is. And 15 is even longer. If you didn't exactly. know. Like, See, I think 10 is my limit, you know? Really? Okay. So you're not willing to go past 10 on the uh, on the yeah. giving up the years. So for if they came and said, if the same pixie came to you and said, you know, we've bumped it up, it's gonna be it's gonna be 15 years, you would say, say say she say the pixie arrived, you agreed to the 10 years, and then she she clicks her fingers, disappears, and then comes back two minutes later and says, Sorry, the contract's bumped it up, it's now 15 years. Are you okay with this? You know, sign First the amendment clause. Well, that's just a breach of contract. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> At that point, I just don't trust them. <laughs> I don't know. You can come to me next and be no, like, yo, it's 40 now. <laughs> like, get out. You're no, not the, a real the, pixie. The, 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 first, the first contract had like a loophole in it where they could come out and extend it. But the second one is ironclad. You you take it to your lawyer. They give you a week to look it over, and the, your your lawyer's like, "Yeah, this is this is ironclad. There's no way these, iron. this, there's no way these wizards are getting out of this one." <laughs> <laughs> this, oh, I mean, I can't argue with that. So uh, um, so would you would you take that one? Would you take the the fifteen maybe, years? Man. In that I don't, I'd do it on a coin flip. Oh really? Yeah, I think just I don't know the, the the ability to to eat and and just be still physically fit, Nick. It's it's too much of a draw. I think I would take it. Yeah.